Hey everyone, this is Christine. Welcome. Let me know where you're from as I get my technology set up here. Getting the uh, the periscope technique down. You all see me okay? Looks like it. Hi Bar. Hi Jay. Hi everyone, welcome. The writing's really small. <laughs> anyway, welcome so much. Um, th thank you for being here. Welcome. And um, hey, Jay. And thanks for your hearts as well. I really appreciate it. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on this chilly day in San Francisco. I am here today to talk with you about how to send LinkedIn invitations without getting your account restricted, which is very, very, very easy to do to get your account restricted. Hey, Judy. And um, first, though, I want to introduce myself to, for those of you who don't know me. And thanks for your hearts again. Um, I'm Christine of ChristineHuber.com. We help make... Hi, Nilgun. Uh, we help make... A, better marketing results easy faster and fun more fun for you my website is christinehuber.com this what i'm talking about today is also on my website it's on my blog this is kind of a summary ad hoc off the cuff version of of my blog post so if you want to to really see everything detailed please go to my blog please also um, when you go to my website you can download my free report top 10 LinkedIn success secrets and you'll be notified of when I'm sharing tips and tricks and all that good stuff um, from my hours of marketing expertise that I've acquired so with that let's get started and let me know with hearts if you're ready for me to get started. It, it helps me. It inspires me. And also, um, uh, thanks for your hearts. Also, if you share this broadcast, that would be great so that your people in your network can, can take advantage of the, uh, the tips that I'm sharing here. And also, if you're not following me, if you just saw me on Periscope, if you can follow me, that would be fabulous. And then you'll be notified when I'm, when I'm doing these again. Okay, let's get started. So there are four ways that um, that I send LinkedIn invitations and th that I kind of, you know, connect with people so that I'm pretty sure that, you know, they're not going to, uh, uh, what's it called, D-N-K D -N me. I always see it written, so I'm like, how do I say it actually? So that means I don't know because if you get, the thing is, is that if you get five I don't knows, then your account gets restricted and you're basically in LinkedIn purgatory and and it's a total pain to to get out of it. So I'm going to show you with you my tips and then I'll also share with you how you can get out of LinkedIn purgatory. So here they are. First, um, really basic. That's kind of like the path of, you know, start with what's easiest and then get harder from there. Really basic. View the person's profile. Just, you know, type their name in, type their name in Google search, and, and view their profile. And depending on your connection level with them, sometimes you can send them an invitation directly from their profile. Um, but I recommend don't do that yet. I'm going to share with you another tip uh, to make it even more effective. Um, so what you, what you want to do from their profile, thanks for the hearts, is you, that's where you can send a personalized invitation, um, and and I've covered this and I covered this in a blog post a few days ago. Um, Judy, you have a weak connection. Signing off. Yeah. Um, so you, yeah, you can listen to the replay um, for the next 24 hours here on Periscope, or you can also see it on Catch.me, and I'll um, or look on my blog as well. There are many ways. All roads lead to Rome, or Christine's video as the case may be. Anyway, um, so so you want to send a personalized invitation. That's really, really, really important. And then also in that personalized invitation, don't like put any links or try to sell or anything like that. You're, you're not getting married. You just want a first date. So, so 
your whole objective is to get them to connect with you, to, to say yes to you. And that's, that's how, how you can send invitations and not get your account restricted. Um, one of the tips. Um, the, so that's number one. View their profile. Send, that, send a personalized invite from their profile. Um, how, that's how you can send invitations without getting your account restricted. Um, also, as, as a caveat, I shared this in another video. You can use it. There's a Gmail extension called Reportif that you can use if, they ha if you have their email. Um, like if they've sent you an email or something like that. Um, so then the, the second way that, that you can um, send uh, LinkedIn invitations without getting your account restricted is get information on the person. You know, make it show, you know, what's in it for them, with them, what's in it for them to connect with you. Because, you know, if they're, if they're an influential person, they're getting a ton of, of invitations. So look at their profile links, look at, you know, their website, look at do, you know, look, look at the information that's there and, and see what you can use, you know, do, do some investigating. So um, number two is look at their profile links. Number three is look at the LinkedIn groups that they're in and join those groups and then, you know, see where they're engaging or engage with them through the group. With the groups, it's a little different now because the, the, the group messaging has changed, so you can only send 15 group messages a month. So that's something to keep in, in mind. And I'm giving you a lot of information here, but I want to be sure to give you value as well and kind of give you, um, give you my tips and tricks that I've invested thousands of hours to acquire. And, um, but I'm so thrilled to share with you. Thanks for the hearts. Thank you. I appreciate that. So then the fourth, the fourth way to send LinkedIn invitations without getting your account restricted is do a Google search for the person. Just find out whatever you can about them because you want to make your invitation really, um, really pop for them and really make them feel like they want to connect with you. You want to make it as personalized as possible. So those are my four tips to send LinkedIn invitations without getting your account restricted. Um, number one is view the profile. Number two is look at the profile links. Number three is look at their LinkedIn groups. And number four is do a Google search if, if none of those other things work. Um, and so, and, and also kind of as a, as a bonus tip as well, you want to provide value to your connections. Thanks for the hearts. You want to provide value to the connections because you, it, it's a start of a relationship. It's, it's, you know, you're starting dating and you're, hopefully you'll get married sometime, but you know, right now you're just starting dating. So, so that's the, um, that, that's kind of the way to look at it so that you have more success on LinkedIn and with engaging. So those are my tips for today. If you want more, again, go to my blog at christinehuber.com. You can get the full, the full blog post there. And um, feel free to share this. Feel free to follow me. Please follow me so that you can um, join me next time. And again, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Have a great day. And here's to your success on LinkedIn and elsewhere until we meet again. Thanks so much.